Well, here I am back at it with Sega CD. Yeah. Yeah. You might remember the previous video I played, Dragon's Lair. And this is a game similar to Dragon's Lair. Let's look at it. This is Space Ace. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's watch this intro. <laughs> Looks cool. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Really? Space Ace! So like Dragon's Lair, it was a Laserdisc arcade game, and it it ha basically followed the same uh, rules. You had to like watch the cartoon, press the right buttons at the right time. You can play Space Ace, or you can view the demo of Space Ace, Brain Death 13, or Dragon's Lair. Apparently, at least in the CD, Sega CD port. You might. Here's a fun fact: Brain Death 13 was planned for a Sega CD release, but it never happened. Oh well, at least you get to play the other two games. So yeah, it follows another damsel in distress plot. Press the right buttons, be careful! Oh no, drones. Ah, darn it! Ugh! Got blasted. Okay, uh, man. Yeah, it seems as if in this port you gotta press the buttons way too early. Which is really bothersome. Man. Man. Once again, animations by Don Bluth. Yeah, and the energize button pops up, by the way. You gotta press the shoot button. I can barely hear the correct sound effects with all the other sound effects going on in the cartoon. I'm advancing. Yay, I made it. Woo! I can get past that one with a few tries. Okay, why is it the clock going? Not this again! Come on! This is bothersome. By the way, we're watching the cutscene as if you can't hear the audio. Oh my gosh. All right, can the clock go now? Do I really have to wait so long for the clock to at least move? I had this issue before, and I'm not having it again. Remember in the previous video? You can take the lower path. And it just leads to the same thing. It's just that you don't have anything to shoot at. Oh, come on! So apparently the timing on that one is different. I don't know what it is. You'd almost never know with this game. Alright, here's the cutscene. Alright, <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> that what a non indoor voice like I'll save you Kenny I'll save you Kimmy Oh my gosh <laughs> I'm terrible at that voice
Oh, come on! I totally pressed the button. Also notice, like, when the ship was approaching the ball earlier, it was green. But when it kills you, it's black. That's weird. And also, you can't press anything to skip this scene. Because if you do... Makes that weird noise. Okay. Oh, come on! <sighs> yeah, that's what I hate. You gotta press the button way too early, or else it doesn't count. <sighs> that's bothersome. So, either you, so you gotta be some kind of psychic in order to play this game. Oh, man, I hate watching this cutscene. Isn't it enough that we have to watch it once? I mean, I... I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, the cutscene itself is amusing, but played it multiple times, like, ev after every time you die, it's annoying. Also, look at this structure. Couldn't he just go around rather than flying through it? Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> no. And once again, like Dragon's Lair, there's a continue system, which is really generous. Thank you. <laughs> at least the game provides us some mercy in the miserable failures we're going through. Man, I actually like this game less than Dragon's Lair. Because even then, the timing was actually tolerable. I totally pressed it! Man! It takes forever to actually be able to get past this game. It takes so many tries. It takes a little bit of patience, like, sure, but too much patience. Man, I am not really a patient guy when it comes to these kinds of games. I mean, for Dragon's Lair, it's fine, but for this game, meh! I, I, I like this game a bit, but not really enough to... Call it a great game. And this is not a joke. Every time you die, you gotta do the same stage over and over until you get past it. And it can be a nightmare. And like Dragon's Lair, I'm not going to be playing this till the end. What button do I press? Oh my gosh. Once I get this game over again, I am totally calling it done. Man. Oh my goodness. Man, that voice is the voice for the young guy is just annoying. Like, ah, I'm sorry, but can I know his name's Dexter. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I totally pressed the button. See what I mean? A lot of the time, you gotta, like, press the button way too early. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Man, that's... Man, that's just stupid. Dragon's Lair didn't have to deal with that. So why should this game? Oh, my goodness. If I die two more times, I'm calling it. And I really need to get past this section. Because I can't. At least not now. This... Is the most bothersome thing I've ever done. Yeah, see? I totally pressed it, and now, and now it's, it's, for whatever reason, just decided to crash into the wall. And don't tell me that it was because of early pressing. You need to do the early pressing. I'm not kidding. Well, at least the arcade game didn't have to deal with that crap. Wow, how sassy. What a time to be Skyping with your girlfriend! <laughs> yeah, seriously, a time to be Skyping with your girlfriend before you go through a structure that you could have just flown around Ah! Well, that's it. I'm calling it the end of the video. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.